Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you all loot from 1000 Talon Wyverns and what's unique about this video is that these are the last Wyverns to be killed in this loot series. As it goes for all the Wyverns in the game, we have now killed Skeletal, Spitting, Ancient, Longtailed, and now Taloned. So unless there's different Wyverns coming out, I think we are good for now as it goes for those. And just like the last couple of videos, this was done on the alternate account. It didn't really take too long, just about three days of AFKing while I was point boosting on my main account for Slayer. And I do apologize for the lack of videos throughout this week. I have been moving in real life, and as you can imagine with everything going on, it's been more difficult than it usually is. But I did actually find a place, and I will be settling in hopefully later this week. And then live streams on Twitch, and the YouTube videos, of course, will be back on a regular basis. Still currently working on 1000 Abyssal Sire, but it did take about 1500 Slayer points to get my first task for that video so that one will take a little bit longer than expected and other than that you guys should see a couple of videos that I have made and just have to edit a little bit later on this week. So with all that being said and now that we're caught up on everything let's go ahead and get into the video 1000 Taloned Wyverns. And as you can see we did use a whip for the first 150 kills of this video. Didn't really have enough money for a Dragon Hunter Lance in the very beginning but then I sold some stuff on my main and I did go ahead and switch over to the Dragon Hunter Lance so yeah I do recommend you bring that if you're going to be killing any wyverns in the game because it is best in slot from what I've seen. Just a really powerful weapon and that's probably why it's worth so much to this day. And as it goes for the gear on this account, I just went with the basic Bandos Task Set and Fighter Torso setup with the Dragon Fire Shield. It is important to note that you do need a certain shield if you're going to be killing these Fossil Island wyverns. It can be anywhere from a Mind to an Elemental to a Dragon Fire all the way up to an Ancient Wyvern Shield. You just have to make sure you have that or you will be taking a lot of damage, but I'm sure most of you guys probably already know that by now. And yeah, I will warn you, you know, most of this video is just a lot of banking due to the fact that these Talon Wyverns have very little drops that I would consider to be significant. So I was having trouble finding things to record and I do apologize for that. Uh, in the future, I think I will record less banking and maybe just focus more on the monster itself rather than just the drops. So luckily though, these uh, Talon Wyverns do drop level 3 clue scrolls just like all Fossil Island Wyverns do. And the drop rate for those clues are 1 in 118, so you will see plenty of hard caskets for the end of the video towards the price check. So that is something to look forward to. And alongside the clues, some other untradeable drops that you can expect from these Fossil Island Wyverns would of course be the fossils, ranging from small to large as well as all the way up to rare. And you can trade in these fossils for extra numulite to the NPC, which is right at the bank outside of the Wyvern Cave. And something else that's pretty cool is that I was wearing a Ring of Wealth the whole time, so I was collecting all the numulite that you get as a drop as well as the coin drops automatically so it would save yourself a lot of clicking and uh, I would definitely recommend you bring a ring of wealth over anything unless you're a main account just trying to power through slayer then I wouldn't worry too much about collecting the coins or the numulite and speaking of mains I didn't really see too many main accounts other than just maybe three people here and most of them were iron men throughout the three days that I was uh, killing these four and I think most of those guys were just doing their slayer tasks since the slayer level required to kill these is just 66 which is pretty low considering it is such a high level monster but yeah you can definitely try these wyverns out even if you are a med level account and these can be assigned by chaildar konar neve and duradel and if you enjoy this task then you can also extend it so those are all some things to keep in mind if you do encounter these fossil island wyverns during slayer they are pretty good for brimstone keys i will say that from uh, some experience on my main account while doing konar slayer here so a little bit about the talon wyvern uh they were released into the game september 7th 2017. The max hit with melee is a 12 and with range it is a 10 so as long as you have that protective shield that I did mention before and some decent armor or if you're praying overhead prayers then you shouldn't be taking too much damage here. A whip is definitely a good choice and a very affordable weapon to bring here. Uh, when I was using a whip I was getting just about 45 to 50 kills per hour with this setup. Keep in mind that was using Pity the whole entire video as well as being potted with a super combat potion because every inventory I was bringing a super combat sip as well as some super restores and the reason I wanted to bring those super restores was not only to have Pity on the whole entire time but also so that it wouldn't get mixed in with the prayer potion drops that these Talon Wyverns do have on the drop table as you can see on the third line of the bank tab you can bring a whip here you will get some decent kills per hour uh, even dragon scimitars are okay I was bringing that for a long time on my Iron Man account but if you do want the fastest kills per hour which I was averaging about 65 to 70 with a dragon hunter lance then you should go with that 
Obviously, not everyone can afford one, but if you can, then I would say it is definitely worth investing for wyverns or dragons in general. Drop table for this monster is pretty good for mains and iron men. I mean, you can expect a lot of alkables all the way from Addy upwards towards Rune, uh, battle staves as well, both noted and unnoted, which make for great alkables for iron men accounts. And the rares, just like the other wyverns in the cave, are of course the granite longsword, which is 512, and the granite boots, which is one and two. 2560 and if you do recall in the spitting wyvern video i did get two boots and two long swords and uh as it goes for the ancient one i did get two boots and one sword and for the long-tailed one i did receive one sword and one boots however in this video so far all these kills in we are yet to receive any granite boots or long swords and of course i did mention this in pretty much all of my previous wyvern videos but those two rares that you can't see on the drop table have just gone down in price over time from pretty much much the start of this loot series until now so that is kind of unfortunate but of course every fossil island wyvern does give you that chance at the ancient wyvern visage that of course being extremely rare and uh still on this loot series i have yet to see it so again if you are a main and you are doing these for a slayer task you can just bring a bone crusher if you're not too worried about collecting all the wyvern bones that you do get from here if profit isn't your main priority then your inventory and your gear can always be switched out for whatever your preference is special attack weapons here help a lot but i was just too lazy to bring any. If I was to bring one, it might have been a Ceridoman God Sword or a Dragon Mace, something like that. And other than, of course, all the hard clue scrolls that I did get throughout this video, um, this pretty much did take me just about four hours with a whip and ten hours with a lance. So give or take, maybe about 15 hours total for this one. Uh, clue scrolls do take time, even if you are using Rune Light. But nevertheless, we did finish all 1,000 kills, and we are about to see the price check here. Uh, you know, these Talon Wyverns, they aren't the highest level in the cave, and they're certainly not the lowest they're kind of somewhere in the middle uh, but you know you can't expect to get a decent amount of drops from them and of course all of these kills were tracked just by the wyvern bones themselves I wasn't going with xp or a log this time but yeah now it is time to go ahead and do the price check see how much money we did make from 1000 kills with supplies of course being accounted for and then we are going to go ahead and open up all of those clue scroll caskets ending the video with just about 12 hard clue caskets not too bad at all so let's go ahead and get into this very very first price check we did in with just about 270k coins 1000 bones a decent amount of runes and s a lot of money coming in from just the battle staves and of course the herbs and the addy bars as well as the rune ore and those prayer potions being a whopping 13k a piece definitely helps the price check as well the very first price check all of those items coming out to be just about 6.1 mil and now we move on to the second price check this is all the spores the seeds a little bit of the alkables as as well as the Numulite, and also a decent amount of Teak Logs, so all those items coming out to be just shy of 3.1 mil, so that's just about 9.2 mil overall in the normal drops, and now we are going to go ahead and trade in all the fossils for some extra Numulite, as I did mention in the very beginning of this video. You simply just have to trade the fossil collector right outside the bank, and she will directly take them from your inventory. So yeah, once we did exchange all the small, medium, large, and rare fossils, we did end with just about 9,000 800 numulite overall which is just a little bit of extra gp kind of like the clue scrolls are and that rounded up is just about 200k so just about 9.4 mil from 1000 talon wyverns all in all that's not too bad it was a little bit less than what i was expecting but uh, now it is time to open up all these hard clue caskets and you never know what can happen from them so let's go ahead and open these up and see what we get not gonna lie i was kind of upset that i didn't get any granite long swords or boots from these talon wyverns so these clue scrolls were pretty much the only thing that I was looking forward to and we are starting off with some pretty decent rewards You know 74 to the 73 up to the hundred now to the 270 You know the rewards are definitely adding up and overall kind of a spoiler But I did spend just about 1.7 mil in supplies for this video You know all those super restores and super combats really adding up just like all those guthix pages are adding up My goodness a lot of guthix items in all these caskets, but yeah, you know It was a really nice way to finish all these clue scrolls receiving just about 622k on our last casket and as i said before you know we did spend 1.7 mil in supplies so getting 1.6 mil from all these clue scrolls combined really does help take care of the cost of supplies so with all that being said it looks like we made just about 11 mil from 1000 talon wyverns minusing the cost of supplies we are walking away with just about 9.3 mil profit in three days time so not too bad at all thank you guys very much for watching the video no it wasn't the
the most exciting one, but usually the ones from this alternate account aren't going to be the most exciting. These are really just the most AFKable, I would say. But nevertheless, a monster is a monster, and it does fit just right in with the series. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in a few days with a new video, and hopefully with some live streams as well. With all that being said, until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.